Collecting import video games is one of the things that I enjoy most about retro video gaming. There are games that we just didn't get here in the States that are super cool and other games we did get that it's kind of neat to collect the international variants. Hey everybody, Gary here with Rock Solid Productions. Thanks for stopping by and checking out our episode that we have here. I really hope that you find it interesting. Now, one of the things that got me into collecting import games, first of all, was my entry back into the world of retro video gaming. I picked up a Retron 5 and I was able to collect Famicom games and games for the Super Famicom. I had never been able to do that before. And the wonderful thing about both of those is the fact that a lot of times you can get common games that you don't need to know any Japanese for a heck of a lot less than their English US counterparts. Now since then I've gone on and well I now have a Sharp Twin Turbo, I have a, an actual Famicom disk system hooked into my top loader NES with my HDMI adapter, that's what you see, or not HDMI adapter, HDMI mod, and that's what you see playing behind me right here. And one of the reasons that I got into collecting and just how I learned about the Famicom, the Famicom disk system, the Sharp Twin Turbo, is thanks to the guys over at Famicom Dojo. I cannot thank them enough for all the wisdom they imparted on me many years ago, and I've just learned so much from them. If you haven't checked them out, I will have them linked for you right up there. Go ahead and do so. Sean and Vink, great guys. They've got a great channel. Every time I watch them, I learn something and they make me laugh. Now, Vink, aka Kevin, actually runs an online site called Japan Retro Direct. I've talked about it a few times before on the channel. And what we have in this box is our latest order from them. And this is one of those things, they're not paying me to say anything about them. They didn't ask me to say anything about them. For me, collecting import games, one of the challenges is finding stuff that's decent quality that I know I'm not going to overpay for. And that's the wonderful thing about what Kevin does with Japan Retro Direct is his quality is great, the inventory changes frequently, and I know that they're giving me a fair price on what I'm getting. So what I'm gonna show you in this video is what we got from Vink and kind of talk about why I wanted these particular titles. I've got stuff in here for cartridges. I've also got some Famicom Disk System games. Let's go get started. So to blow a little bit of the suspense, I know everything that's in here because, well, I placed the order. And yes, I am using a tin snips to open this up because, well, it's not that Tom stole my X-Acto blade again. It's the fact that my X-Acto blades are actually all packed up. So uh, Kevin does a great job packing everything. You can see we've got some good stuff here and we've got some Famicom disk system stuff right on the top. Uh, Japanese newspapers which are cool. This is stuff actually that I'll reuse to pack this stuff as I move. So the first one out of the gate for me is something that I've been eyeballing for a while. And this is Major League from Irem. And one of the reasons why I wanted this is because Major League was actually filmed in my hometown. I believe my middle brother Scott went to um, one of the nights of filming at County Stadium. Yes, this, they made Milwaukee look like Cleveland because Milwaukee looked even worse than Cleveland back in the 80s. So yeah, that's that's fun. So um, Bob Euchre, as we all know, stole the show and everything. Um, you know, we've got uh, Wild Thing, Ricky Vaughn, his little baseball icon on the front. And this is one of those games that I have wanted for a long time. Next up is one of those that, like, I didn't need, but I kind of wanted, and that was Mario Golf, and the wonderful thing, or Mario Open Golf. And I love the artwork and everything on this, and part of the reason why I did this is because Kevin offers flat rate shipping, right? Well, I had only had a couple things in my cart, and he's like, you know, it's flat rate, why don't you add a couple more things to make it more worthwhile? And for a couple bucks, Mario Open Golf, definitely a fun game to add to the collection. I so wish we would have gotten these different color carts here in the US. Now the next one I got, <laughs> I believe this is Wario's Woods. Um, and again, it's a great puzzler game. It's one of these that I had never had. Came out in the late life cycle of the NES. By 1994, if you see right here, copyright Nintendo 1994, I had already moved on to the Super NES. But again, this is one of those I've never had for the NES. I don't need to know any Japanese to be able to play. And it's another just a classic Nintendo game. Now this next one, in the US we had Mega Man, in Japan they had Rockman, and this is Rockman 5. And I have two, three, and I think four? 
I don't think I've got the first one, but Rockman or Mega Man 5 is pretty expensive in the States. So is 6, so is 4. And this allowed me to go ahead and get Rockman or Mega Man 5 and not have to kill the bank when it came to what I was going ahead and paying. And one of the things too, if you notice on all four of these cartridges, they're all plastic wrap. They are all individually wrapped so that they are in good shape to help protect them not only in shipment, but to keep dust and crap and other things out of these cartridges. So Rockman 5, definitely one that I had to add to my collection. And now we're going to get to the Famicom Disk System. And these are two games that this one was kind of like an added bonus. This is one I definitely wanted. Castlevania 2 um, is one of the games that has just amazing sound on the Famicom Disk System. And the final one we got is this guy here. And you may not know what that says. It's Double Dribble. And it's one of those that, you know, I... Double Dribble is just a fun, fun game. One of the first games, sports games that I ever played for the original NES, and now to have it on the Famicom Disk System. And this was dirt cheap too, so looking at what we have here, we have two Famicom Disk System games, and one, two, three, four different games for the Famicom itself. You know, and I didn't pay a ton for everything that you have here. Before shipping, I want to say I was at about 45 or 50 bucks with Simon's Quest being a pretty heavy hitter along with Rockman 5. But everything else, that's one of the things I love about buying from Japan Retro Direct. Very fair pricing. He's got to charge for shipping. There's nothing he can do about that. But the quality that we get out of these games, second to none. Let's go ahead. Let's wrap things up. It's Major League. It's playing. It's awesome. I am absolutely thrilled to have these games now in the collection. Thanks, Vink, so much for offering a great service. And the best thing when you select the express shipping, so he's got like super ooper duper fast shipping that's like kind of expensive. Didn't do that. But the next tier down, it's like 30, 35 bucks for EMS shipping, I think is what it is. And it got here in about a week, week and a half. So uh, very fast from Japan. And it's one of those things that, like I say, if you buy more, you get a better value on what your shipping is. <laughs> Gotta love it. That is awesome. As a Milwaukee Brewers fan, as a Bob Euchre disciple, I absolutely love the fact that I now have this in my collection. Make sure if you are looking to pick up some import games, I mean, not just Famicom and Famicom Disk System. He's got Super NES. He's got Super Game Boy. He's got Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Saturn, Master System, uh, Mega Drive, Dreamcast, GameCube, Wii, I mean, he's got even import Switch games too. Um, so definitely something, check it out. I think you'll be really impressed with everything that he has on the site. Um, again, just great pieces to have added in the collection. Now, if you are looking to play Famicom games on an NES, you can do that. That's what I'm doing here. Companies like Hyperkin sell a 60 to 72 pin adapter that you can go ahead and plug it into your system and it worked just like this here. Plus, some cartridges that have five screws on the back of them for the NES, Gyromite, perfect example, actually have those 60 to 72 pin adapters right in them. Now, for this adapter here, what's nice about it, it's got a nice molded shell and everything, it just works. They're looking about 10, 12, 15 dollars roughly, and that's something you can actually pick up from like castlemaniagames.com. He carries the one up cleaning cards, that's one thing I'm going to go through, and I'm going to clean all of these just because I'm anal about stuff like that. But if you are looking for modern or retro accessories, check out castlemaniagames.com. Promo code ROCKSOLID10 to save you 10% off of most items on the website. So let's say you need a 60 to 72 pin adapter. You can save some money there. It's not like you're gonna save big money, that's Menards, but you can save 10% using Rock Solid 10. Now, if you do have any comments or questions, uh, you can go ahead and feel free, leave them down below in the comments section. You can also go ahead and email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. Send me a message on Twitter at Rock Solid Studios. We are on Facebook at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions and Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductions GK. Now, if you notice behind me, the game room is getting pretty empty because we are getting ready to move and make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way you can kind of see the transition when we leave here this is not the last video from this room yet that's coming soon but you can kind of see what we are up to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification that way each and every time we upload new content you are kept informed and up to date and if you're looking for some of the other like pickups that we've gotten from 
Japan Retro Direct, because this is not the first thing we've gotten from him. Uh, if you want to check out some of the other videos that we have, how we HDMI modded our NES and more, those videos are coming up for you right now. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to support the future of Rocksaw Productions, you can do so by visiting our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. For as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year, you'll get early access to all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. You can also become a channel member here on YouTube for as little as $1.99 a month. And with that, you get a badge next to your name when you comment or post on the channel, and you are acknowledged whether you are a channel member or a Patreon supporter at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also support the channel by visiting our Teespring store on screen now, where we have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, masks, cell phone cases, and much more. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.